fall feeding to me is when those fish are actively feeding to bulk up for the winter. It's something they do every year. Typically it starts off with late summer, early fall. They start schooling. They're actively chasing fish. You see them boiling in the middle of the lake. Then it gets colder and those fish hunker down. They don't necessarily get deeper, but they get to the bank. They're not out in the main lake, out in open water. They're on the bank and they're running and chasing shad. They're actively feeding, trying to bulk up. They're trying to bulk up for the winter time because they know when it gets to winter, they're not gonna feed as much. So they try to eat and gorge themselves before that real cold winter time snap. To me, it's really only three baits. The jerk bait, slender 112, slender 127, just based on the size, water clarity. A lot of times if you're getting the fish to come from a long ways, I like the 127, a bigger bait. They will travel farther to come and get the 127 than they will the 112. Then the 1.5 and the 1.0. You know, those two baits right there are such effective tools in the fall. If I had one bait to fish during the fall feeding time, it would be a 1.5 or the 1.0. I like all shad colors. This right here is actually a, a craw color, but it's that 1.0 size, just slightly smaller than the 1.5. Teal shad, pearl thread fin, live thread fin, gold thread fin, any good shad pattern is what I like to throw in the fall. What I do is I cover a ton of water around hard targets, meaning rock. Rock is by far my favorite structure to fish with a one or a 1.5. Typically what I'll do is sun up to sun down. I'm gonna throw the 1.5 or the jerk bait. If I get around a little bit deeper water, docks, I like to throw the jerk bait. Hard targets, wood, rock, rip wrap. That's where I throw the 1.5. Those fish like to slide up shallower they like to corral the bait on those hard banks, meaning that they run bank. They like to run sides of points. They like to run kind of bluffy walls. Anything where there's good rock, it's almost like they corral the bait against the rock and the bait can't go but one direction or two directions, up or down. They can't go everywhere. Like if they're out in the middle of the lake, it's almost like they push them and corral them against the bank and it's easier for them to target those you know thread fin shad. So, Throwing that 1.5, the 1.0, covering a ton of water. When you get around the deeper water, throw that jerk bait. That to me is fall feeding at its best. Those two baits, those three baits, you do not need anything else. Just keep the jerk bait, keep the 1.5, the 1.0 in your hand, and you will catch more fish in that fall feeding time.